feeling so cozy. It's so nice. I love Christmas. It is my favorite time of year and I am zen but buzzing. I'm buzzing at the time of year but I'm feeling zen and this is one of my favorite videos to film of the whole year and I just didn't want to miss it. It is what I got for Christmas. I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful relaxing time right now. I'm gonna take you through a few little things. I have some really cute stuff this year actually. I feel very spoiled and very grateful. And the first thing that I actually want to touch on that I got myself for Christmas was actually a donation to Rays of Sunshine. If you have been following along with Vlogmas, you will know that I did a charity sale for them and I matched every single person what they spent that evening. And that donation ended up being close to £5,000 and that was my Christmas holiday present to myself was a donation to Rays of Sunshine and in the new year I'm actually going to pick the wishes that I want to grant with that money. But now I'm going to show you some fun presents and things. The actually first thing I wanted to show you was this beautiful stocking. Look at it. I feel like I'm going to use this for years and years. I always I have a stocking that's like my family stocking that says my name on it my sister has one too but this is like oh my goodness and that one's quite big by the way but this is like embroidered and beautiful and I feel like I've had it on my fireplace you might have seen it in the vlogs as well but it is stunning it's definitely gonna be one of those ones that I just keep forever it's velvet and it's embroidered with such beautiful detail I'm not actually even sure where it's from you know but I'll try and find it and link it down below. Oh, here's Sudha. Not really sure. I'll link that down below. It's so pretty. I love looking at it. I actually got a lot of food for Christmas, a lot of snacks, some of which I've eaten already, but let me show you this one. This was from, oh my gosh, it's so good, one of my colleagues, and oh, <gasps> this was actually from his mum from Turkey. It is probably like original. Oh my gosh, I am not sharing this with anybody. It is so good. You can see I've like nibbled away at the top and you open the box and it smells so good. I don't even know what this is. Like I know these are pistachios. I'm not sure what this squishy bit is. It's kind of like a sugary hardened marshmallow and some things are rose. Like these rose ones are my favorite. Everything smells so delicious and I literally like hide the box from anybody because I'm not sharing it. <laughs> Actually I got quite a few summer things because I am going away over the next, oh I think it's like in three or four days time now, to Costa Rica <laughs> and I think generally I'm just more of a summer person than a winter person to be honest and that's why people get me summer things. The first thing was actually a poochie wrap. This is from my mum. I always steal hers. This whole summer I was wearing hers. So she got me my own. It's kind of orangey blue and then there's a one shoulder poochie swimsuit that matches and it is... It's pretty. I like it a lot. I'm so excited to wear it. I love one shoulder and I actually don't even own a one shoulder swimsuit and I love Poochie swimsuits. I feel like I feel very glam actually when I wear them and then I'm also going to wear them with these when I go away. Packaging. It's so pretty. These are from Bulgari. They're the B0 sunglasses. This is my kind of shape I think. They're so cool aren't they? What do you guys think? I also got some really cute little things. This is an iPhone charger wire actually, but it's purple and sparkly and I love sparkly things. And look, someone knows me really well because a sparkly iPhone wire is like, yes. I got one quite big Prezi that I wanted to show you. Now I was eyeing this up all of summer and I really, really wanted it. I felt like I wanted the Chanel kind of Deauville tote bag, not kind of Deauville tote bag, Deauville tote bag for a while and I really should have got it when they had the baby pink one and every year they kind of bring out dark colors in the summer and I'm just not for dark colors in the summer. And YSL brought out a bag that is a similar kind of fabric-y canvas tote bag but much more affordable and more of a cream colour and it was sold out really really quickly but dun, 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 dun. are you ready I will show you now it still has a tag on it I literally haven't taken it out or anything hold on oh wow and it is so roomy in here I feel like this might even be roomier than the Chanel one it's so 
great. It doesn't zip up, it has like poppers at the top, but it has a little zip compartment inside. And I just think the color is so wearable for summer. And I just really wanted a nice big fat tote that I could wear to the beach, wear around, put my laptop in if I wanted to, fit over my shoulder, fit under my arm. I just felt like this was so versatile, so I'm very grateful for this and excited to wear it. So basically my friend and I always go for dog walks and we live quite near each other and we'll always go with actual mugs. Like I actually don't own one of those sippy carry mugs, but we'll go with our actual mugs and kind of just carry them around with us. And we kept saying to each other, oh my gosh, we're always carrying our mugs. And then we'd either go to each other's houses and leave our mugs there or whatever. So <laughs> it was quite funny. Anyway, now I have not just any mug, a sparkly mug and it's obviously going to keep all my drinks warm it has a little slippy thing where you can you know close it so it doesn't leak everywhere and now i can take my tea with me everywhere my hot water and lemon and it's kind of silver on the inside to keep it all warm and snug and i just love that it's pink and glittery because that is so me in my bathroom here you will see that i kind of like decorate it you'll probably see in my vlogs i kind of decorate it all cutely than like little things I like kind of I guess clutter around and like little decorative ornaments and I received this gorgeous little mini mirror it's so tiny it's the size of the palm of my hand like it's so sweet I feel like I could actually use this as well like it's not just a decorative ornament like I will actually use this oh my gosh you know when you look in the close-up mirror and you're like holy smokes is that what I look like? Oh my god, there's a huge spot on the side of my nose. Can you see it? Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> I'll definitely use this. And um, that's gonna go in my bathroom. Another thing that is going in my bathroom is this. I love little glass jars and keeping things in glass jars, but I feel like this, I could keep my cotton pads in or anything to take off my makeup and use it as kind of a decorative ornament. I may, might get rid of the lid actually and just keep it open so you'll probably see that in my bathroom soon so useful i actually also received two books and i'm really slow at reading books i think in 2019 i read two books that was it i listened to maybe three but like five books in a year is really i don't know i don't, I don't think that's good i feel like some people read like five books a month anyway there are two books i want to try and read while i'm away Maybe I'll just get round to one, but I want to read both of them. They were actually given to me because of the podcast. The one is written by a divorce lawyer. It's like his stories, which is really interesting. And the divorce lawyer we interviewed on What I Know Now, Lucy actually we talked about the book, not when we were on the podcast generally. And I found her so interesting and her story so interesting that I wanted to kind of read it as well. I found it really fascinating. And the other one, people kind of think I feel like I'm really weird. Like my friends give me weird books. But I was speaking with one of my friends about Esther Perel and she has an amazing podcast and she's basically like a relationship psychologist and her podcasts are like her live relationship coaching sessions basically or therapy sessions I guess and she has a book called Rethinking Infidelity and I wasn't really interested in reading her books I know she had a book called Mating in Captivity and then after I listened to that podcast my friend and I just wouldn't stop talking about it there was a specific specific episode and it's called I've had this conversation in my head a hundred times and it was really fascinating because this couple were obviously having a lot of trouble but they still had so much love for each other and you could kind of hear that throughout the course of the therapy session anyway that was really fascinating and so she got me her book which is called the state of affairs and I don't know if I'm gonna like get a bit sad reading it but I think it will be really interesting. And as you guys know from my podcast, relationships is a topic I'm really interested in. So that was actually a very thoughtful present. Oh, oh, one last thing I wanted to mention. I don't really mention press gifts, like sent from brands in these videos. It's more like gifts family and friends and stuff have got me. But there was one that I wanted to mention because I felt like people would really love it and love to see it. It was from Dior and it is this beautiful little CD bracelet it has like little crystal diamante then pearl crystal diamante and then it says cd on it oh i love it so much i literally have not taken it off i know people are gonna ask so i'm just gonna say that this bracelet's dan harrell and this one is cartier and i feel like they all go really nicely together now so i will find a link to that and link that down below dual jewelry is like oh it's just heaven to me i feel like if i wasn't 
given this as a gift, I would have probably seen it and wanted to buy it. Anyway, that is all from me. I will probably see you in the new year in 20. 20 which is totally crazy i will be back very very soon and if you're going to miss me you can come and follow me on instagram because i post on stories a lot and i actually just wanted to say thank you guys so much incredibly so much for all your amazing support this year it has been a bit of a roller coaster year and i'm very excited for 2020 and i'm sending you a lot of love and magic and sparkles so that you have a wonderful 2020 as well and i will see you then Mwah. bye guys